Well, we have a beautiful day ahead of us today. Oh, better get that radio turned off. Ah, uh, but we've got to replace a bearing first thing here. We're gonna run this combine up to the bunk and we're gonna blow it off, get it filling with fuel, and then I'm gonna start taking this um, chain off the grain tank and load auger. And we have a bearing to replace on the front um, auger that's in the bottom of the bin on the left hand side. We've got to replace that bearing. So it shouldn't be that much of a job. It, it is Sunday morning here. So we'll get after it. Okay, so we've got the combine down in front of the shop here in case we need torches to heat that sprocket up to get it off the shaft. I replaced this sprocket and chain, that sprocket there and the chain um, a couple weeks ago. So we've got to loosen that tensioner up and get the chain off and then uh, we can get on to getting that sprocket off of there.
like the bolts have stayed in there. Alright, so I've got the old bearing off the shaft and um, the shaft is in good shape. I was kind of worried about um, running this because I ran it half the day yesterday with this bearing squeaking and as you could see the um, the only thing that was left of the bearing was the inner race and then the outer cage there so I do have two brand new flanges however I'm not going to need them um, it wouldn't have went another day anyway so we'll get some new flanges on there we'll clean this shaft up a little bit let it cool down and um, get her back together here doing something we probably shouldn't do we should probably clean it up a little better but oh well now that's probably too hot that is probably too hot basically where it needs to be there and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this alone or not but the bear uh, the bolts fell into the bin so I've got to get them bolts on there before we put the lock and collar on we want to get that very tight then we can finish the job Right at the moment here, I am alone, which is no big deal. But I'm going to have to find a way to push them bolts through, and hopefully they stay uh, in there. So we'll be back at you in a minute here. Okay, so Garrett went up in there, and he uh, put the bolts in for me. Now we're going to get this lock and collar locked onto there and get this job finished up.
Can you pull down on that ratchet strap? All right, so we've got to find some shims here for that. And get that chain tight. You can tighten that chain up. You might have to pull down on that carriage bolt, and that's going to go down until this indicator is above that spring. All right, we're in business now. We've got that uh, bearing all replaced. I've got to get some shims uh, for that sprocket as well. I don't know what the gap difference is supposed to be in behind that, but so I don't know if it was tight up against that bearing or not, but we ended up putting all the shims in behind the sprocket so that it couldn't uh, move any closer to the bearing in case some jam bolts uh, loosen up. And then I put a couple of regular flat washers on the outside there, so we'll have to get some shim washers to put on there. But that's all going good now so. so here are the bearings on uh the opposite side so that's the, the right hand side bearing and that hasn't moved at all so um i thought maybe the shaft moved that way but nothing has moved in there so we're all good so you're gonna get fixed up bud andrew broke a blade on the bush hog and they are working on that right now yeah. big brother helping you yeah. yeah all right let's go and see what you've got going on over here get him fixed up and we better get combining so don't break anything right bud yeah yeah see if you can find that one i think i know where i dropped it okay all right we've got that bearing replaced and i am now on my way to the field the field that i am or the farm that i'm on now is five miles away so i'm going to be there in a little while and that is going to do it for this video i want to thank you for watching folks and we will catch you at the next one